Hey guys, today I am going to be journaling in my Bible. I'm excited to use these two sets from Confetti Creativo. The elements that I'm using today are from her sets Grace Colored Glasses and her newest set Silhouette. So I like to print my graphics in black and white and color just because it really makes it pop visually. And I printed the black and white elements onto clear sticker paper and I printed my color elements onto white cardstock. By doing that I can overlay my different elements on top of each other without having um, you know, one come through on the other and I just love the way it looks. And today I've selected this adorable little bird from Silhouette that I'm going to use um, and I'm placing it on top of this doily so that I can flip it up and still see some of my scriptures underneath. And I have some feathers that I found at Hobby Lobby in my stash that I haven't used up and I just thought they would be perfect to layer a gold feather back behind this bird just for another element. And so I'm sticking that down with uh, some double-sided tape here and just get my rose graphic uh, lined up here I wanted it to peek out from behind the bird I just used the same piece and then cut it in a couple places so that I could um, have it peek out from both sides and please excuse my video getting dark here we had a random summer storm come up while I was working on this and it really affected my lighting but it will get better so I'm putting down some texture paste this is a technique that a friend of mine has did recently and I just kind of um, really been experimenting with it a lot but I'm using some delusions paints I love these paints the vibrancy of them is just amazing and I'm mixing a little bit of that paint into this texture paste and then I'm using a stencil here from Tim Holtz and then I'm going to put that down and rub uh, the texture paste through the stencil. And I'm using three different colors, pink, black, and blue. And I know that when the pink and blue mix, it's going to create some purple, but I like that. And this just gives a really neat texture to the page and just adds a little bit more color around those black and white flowers. If you've never worked with texture paste before, I highly encourage you to experiment with it. It is a whole lot of fun and um, it does take a good minute for it to dry. So before I started doing this part, I did take a break and um, let that dry for maybe about an hour before I started stamping and working around it and just to make sure that it was really dry. And so for the scripture, um, I wanted to put down, He cares for us. And I'll place the scripture here that I worked off of. Then I finished the page off with a little bit of a gold border just to bring out that feather. And this is my completed page. I had so much fun creating this and I hope that you're encouraged and inspired by what you see and try it yourself. Thanks for watching friends. See you next time.